Good evening. Karen Bass has been representing the 47th Assembly District of Los Angeles, California since 2005. In May 2008, she became the 67th Speaker of the California State Assembly, catapulting a Democratic woman to the post for the first time in the state's history. And she became the first African-American woman in the country to ever serve in this role. Bass has been part of the California Assembly's leadership since her first term, when she was appointed Majority Whip. In her second term, she was elevated to the post of Majority Flow Leader, making her the first woman and the second African American to serve in that position. Bass, while serving as Vice Chair of the Legislative Black Caucus, commissioned a report to research the demographic profile of black Californians, including the basic social and economic conditions. The State of Black California report included a statewide organizing effort to involve the black community in identifying their concerns and making legislative recommendations. As chair of the California Assembly Select Committee on Foster Care, she led the effort to secure more than $82 million to implement a host of new laws to help improve the state's foster care system. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the screen. Karen Bass has been a state assembly member representing Los Angeles' 47th Assembly District since 2005. She made history in 2008 when she became the 67th Speaker of the California State Assembly, catapulting a Democratic woman to the post for the first time in the state's history, as well as being the first African-American woman in the country to serve in this powerful state legislative role. In her first term, Karen Bass joined the ranks of the leadership when she was appointed to Majority Whip. In her second term, she was elevated to the post of Majority Floor Leader, making her the first woman to hold the post and the second African American to serve in the position. Before Bass began her political career, she founded and ran Community Coalition. As executive director, she built a community-based social justice organization in South Los Angeles to empower residents to get involved in making a difference. Today, the organization serves as a model for those seeking to engage the community throughout the country. Karen Bass has spent the last 30 years working to improve the quality of life for people throughout the state of California. As a social justice activist, she's worked to bridge disparity gaps by developing and implementing solutions to make a real difference in the most vulnerable communities. She is considered an effective change agent who fights to ensure that every voice is heard. She has been honored by organizations throughout the country for her social justice, political, and community work. Karen Bass continues to achieve positive change through her enduring efforts and inspired vision. Ladies and gentlemen, Speaker of the Assembly, Ms. Karen Bass. so much to be elected as the first African-American woman to lead the California State Assembly was one of the proudest moments of my life. This is another. I am deeply honored to be recognized tonight by the leaders and the doers and the thinkers and the mentors who make up the Congressional Black Caucus. To stand here and to know that what you have done in your life, whether it is Congressman Rangel, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, Diane Watson, 
all of the leaders who have come before me, who guided me, who served as role models, who inspired me, one, to be a community activist, and I'm a proud community organizer, in spite of what some others might say of community organizing. I'm proud to say that it's a community organizer that in less than 40 days is going to be elected as the President of the United States. <laughs> I am proud to say that I stand on your shoulders. I made a lifetime commitment to fight for social and economic justice because of the work that you have done over the years. When you're called into service, whether it is the California State Assembly, the US Congress, or the presidency, you don't just step up when times are good. You step up when there is a need, and there is a great need now. When the stakes are high, being entrusted with the responsibility to lead as, is as great an honor as it is a challenge. And for someone working hard to find new ways to meet our challenges, receiving a great honor like the Phoenix Award in the name of Barbara Jordan from the Congressional Black Caucus is a powerful inspiration to keep moving forward. Thank you so much.